Hi, Pisces. I already did your reading. Um, yesterday, I did your reading. And uh, like five minutes of it saved. And so I thought, all right then. I was too tired to do it again. Not, it, And I wasn't really tired. I was just like energetically drained. And I thought they deserve something better. So, and you guys are in, ooh, all right, right off the bat, let's do this. Let's do it. You guys are ready. Let's do it. Um, you guys are, are uh, you need transparency from everybody and everything right now. Like, things have to be very clear in order for you to understand that um, your place of stability is real. But if it's not like crystal clear to you and things, um, you still have questions or you're still confused about stuff, you're not going to see this. You're not going to see it at all. So this month, October, is all about um, allowing yourself woo, to be present in the moment. It's like a, the challenge for you this month is to be present in the moment. And, and by that, I mean, um, because you guys are so good at dreaming up the things that you want to do in your life and where you want to go and how you're going to get there and like all the stuff, right? But if you want to make it reality or if you want to see how real it actually is, you got to see what you have in front of you right now. You have to see the blessings that came out of all the hard work that you've been through. You have to see um, the uh, the lessons that you've learned up until now, how it is playing out on a day-to-day -day basis for you, because it's very much about the day-to-day -day right now. Um, and and there's a lot of transformation that's happening. There's the, all of this stuff that's going on in your eighth house um, in Libra during this month is showing you the way, the direction that you're supposed to go, the people that you're supposed to be with, the things that you're supposed to be doing. But if you don't have a clear path and if people are in front of you, and this is what I mean by a clear path, if you have people in front of you that are throwing like negative energy at you all the time or they're really confusing and you're constantly questioning their values and their morals and who they are and do they truly believe this and that and whatever, right? If you have to question the motives of the people that you've surrounded yourself with, they don't belong in your tribe, okay? And this is the month where I feel like you're really going to see a lot of that. So we have woo, the Wheel of Fortune. Yay, that was the first one that came up. Then we have the Queen of Pentacles and we have the Ten of Pentacles on the top row. So you could be dealing with an earth sign or just somebody that feels really comfortable to you, like somebody that you feel like you can really, really count on. This is going to be a long-term commitment. This is, and, and it's almost as if like, it's like you opened up your eyes and you were like, holy crap, I didn't even, I didn't even see it. Now. If this earth sign is actually from the past, then I feel like whatever it was, um, and I'm liter this is literally what I'm hearing right now. I feel like whatever it was that they promised you in the past, they're, they're um, following up on that. Or they are um, paying their dues, if you will. Something is stabilizing when it comes to an earth sign could possibly be a Taurus since we have the higher font down here. But we have the King of Cups, we have the Page of Swords, and we have the higher font. So the King of Cups would be your energy. 
And I do feel like you're really ruling, dare I say, your empire or your kingdom in a very fair and emotionally stable way right now. It's almost as if you can, um, and this would not surprise me, um, you can like switch the energy around in a room to make it better. That's what it feels like this is happening. Be very discerning about the conversations that you're having, especially if it has to do with a Taurus and where their placement is in your life, okay? Or any earth sign and their placement. Because I feel like with this Hierophant over here, it's almost as if you are turning your nose up. Like if you look at this, this page of swords has his back to the Hierophant. I feel like you're kind of turning your nose up to um, the things that society, like the, those standards that society has always wanted from you. And you're like, you know what? I'm just not that person. And I'm not going to pretend to be. Like I said, everything has to be very transparent for you right now. And the reason why it has to be transparent um, is because there's a, there's an easy chance with Neptune right now and all the aspects that they that are happening through Libra season to be um, overly exuberant or like overly excited about situations or like overdoing the energy and overextending yourself in some way or over you know what I mean and the transformation that's possible here is the discernment of where you're placing your energies and because you want stability you want to be in this ten of pentacles and you want it to be long term and you're recognizing the energy shift you're recognizing how things are lightening up a little bit like ever since mercury retrograde earlier this year in your sign you know and and now you're able to see things in a much cleaner state of mind. It's not so foggy. The answers are becoming easier to comprehend. Now, if you're having problems staying in alignment or waking up every day and really wanting to do like the next best thing in your life or really wanting to live out your best life, come join me for the self-alignment course that we're having Saturday, October 10th. There's going to be another one on the 21st, another one on the 27th, but this one, Saturday, October 5th, um, which is just a couple of days from now, because I'm doing this on the 1st of October, um, we're going to look at the six biggest blocks of what we do to sabotage ourselves from manifesting our best lives. We're going to be looking at those six things and then um, being able to assess where those six things are and how to change them and how to do it permanently, like how to make it a habit. To feel good every single day, no matter where you are in life. Okay? Um, so check that out on my website. Um, I'm also doing weekly meditation and Reiki sessions. Reiki healing circles, those are amazing. It's a very small fee to join us weekly. Um, I have to do the fee because I want to make sure that we keep everything very high vibrational. And otherwise I would just do it public. But... Um, it's wonderful and it's powerful and it's been life changing for a couple of people and we've only been doing it for a month. So join us for that. Um, so let's see, Wheel of Fortune. I wanna see what this shift is. I wanna see what this energetic shift that you created, because you have to remember that we are the creators of the shifts that we have. We just, once we make the shift happen, that's when divine timing. We do the shift, all right, we do the shift, and then we allow ourselves to take a step back and say, all right, universe, work with me, right? So the three of pentacles on the wheel of fortune, I feel like you kind of surrendered yourself, um, at one point in your life to work with certain people and now you're realizing the energies that you want in life in your in your life are completely different than what you used to want 
You know what I mean? And so I feel like you're changing with the three of pentacles. It's almost a changing of the guards, if you will. Like I'm going to change. Like, I had a best friend for 20 years, and they just don't understand me right now. We don't vibe right now or whatever. So this is my new best friend. Like, that kind of thing. Maybe not that simple or not that even complicated, I guess, for some people. But um, it feels like, like, I used to date a particular type of person, and I know that I deserve better than that. And so I'm leveling up, and so the person that I'm dating now has to be a lot, like, they, their energy has to be high vibrational as well, Right? Like, the people that you are surrounding yourself with are that, le it's that level up person. You, you see, you understand? And, like I said, it's a person that you can feel really stable with and balanced with. Could be a Sagittarius energy or somebody who is an earth sign that has some Sagittarius in their chart, too. You know, um, but with temperance here, temperance is about balancing out the heart and the mind. And I, and I feel like with either this earth sign or the Sagittarius with earth or the earth with Sagittarius, whoever it is, whoever this person is for you, um, you guys fought for this. It feels like you fought for this stability in your life. The nine of wands on the ten of pentacles. You fought to be this stable, this long term, this. Um, yeah, all I'm hearing is like, we deserve this. This is something that we fought for, to have this kind of stability. So. And I think that's where the transparency comes from, too, is in knowing, like, you don't want to second guess something that you've been fighting for for a really long time, something that has balanced you out for years, and then maybe for a little while you were a little bit unbalanced, and now you're getting back to that balance again because you're recognizing, like, this is where my energy is supposed to be, and this is where I'm supposed to be placing it, and not... In the past, like, like this person feels like they've been here for a while. And maybe you separated. And this could be a friend. It could be romantic. It could be a family member. And then you guys came back together. And it's now a more stable, grounded, happier existence. Because you, you worked on your energy separately and then came back together. That's what this feels like. And it just took time. And that's what I mean by divine timing. You shift your energy. You raise your vibration. You decide that you want something different in your life. And then you start attracting the people, places, and things either back into your life or whatever, right? So we have the emperor on the king of cups and the king of cups is your energy does you don't have to be a male this can represent female too it's a general reading but with that emperor and the king of cups You do realize that you're in more control than you think you are sometimes. Because I think that, I mean, we have to have a healthy level of ego because it stops us from doing stupid things, like stops us from doing stupid, harmful things. But if we let our ego get too out of control, we're always going to be afraid to do something new in life, right? So I, I sort of feel like all of this that's happening to you where you were once stable and then you weren't really that stable anymore and now you're stable again, the fear of it falling backwards where you, you're not feeling very grounded or feeling stable, I think that's, I think that's the, the reason why you feel like you need to have control over the situation because you're like, is this too good to be true? Is it going to run away from me? Is it, 
like look at everything that I've accomplished. It could go by in a blink of an eye. And again, that's one of the blocks to manifesting big, you're, you know, living your best life is being in fear that it's too good to be true or that we don't deserve it. And this is exactly what I'm saying. The confusion, if you don't have clear set answers right now and things aren't really, really transparent, you're going to search for those answers. And you're going to be like, I got this, this kid, you know, I, I got to be set. I got to know what's happening. Especially when Mercury goes retrograde in October uh, or in non, like on October 31st. So it'll be retrograde through November. Um, but because um, it's going to bounce back around with Neptune and, and you know, I just need to <laughs> excuse me. Because it's going to bounce back around with Neptune and, um, you know, go put you in a situation or situations where you're like, is that really what I'm supposed to do? Because I'm not really sure. And then you're going to confuse yourself and maybe even more than one. So I understand where you want to have control of it. Here's the thing, though, Pisces. And I'm not lecturing you by any means because I don't need to. Um, I just don't want you to, to put yourself into a situation where you lose stuff again. You lose this stability that you have so fought for um, because of something somebody said out of anger, because of something somebody said out of jealousy, out of spite, out of something, right? Um, because that's, that's, that's their plight. That's what they need to do. That's what they, 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 that's what makes them feel better. What you need to do is look at every situation and be like, if this person isn't going to be a hundred percent transparent and open and clear with me, it's not going to happen. I'm not going to engage my energy with somebody that's just going to confuse me even more, you know? Um, and I feel like these lessons that you're learning, again, you could be dealing with the Taurus energy, but I feel like a lot of this stuff is just karmic. Like it's a karmic cycle and a karmic lesson of not lying to yourself, of not beating yourself up, of not putting yourself in situations where you don't feel like you're in control. You have to allow yourself to be in control of certain situations in your life. We are responsible for the energy we hold we are responsible for the people that we allow into our energetic space. We are responsible for how we allow our emotions to react to other people when they trigger us. You are responsible for your being. What you're not responsible for is trying to fix somebody else who needs to, who needs to fix themselves. You see what I mean when I say that? So, and, and... It feels like a lesson of boundaries, of, of allowing yourself to have healthy boundaries, of keeping people in your space that are for you and not against you. I feel like your, really, your relationships are really going to change in October. And I think a lot of it is because of the strength that you have in, in standing up for yourself. So the Five of Swords, the Ace of Wands, and the Strength card. Um, you could also be dealing with a Leo energy. But I feel like this Leo energy is just around for uh, a good time, <laughs> if you will. I mean, I could go into further depth of that, but I think that we're all adults here. And, well, mo hopefully we're adults here. If there's a Leo energy sniffing around you, I don't feel really good about their intentions. And then the Knight of Swords. Um, and I feel like they could knock you off track. And then you'll have to just rebuild again. See? The High Priestess and the Eight of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. So be very wary, be very leery or wary. Just look out for yourself because 
this eight of pentacles and high priestess make me feel like you are building some plans in your life and you don't need to tell the world about it what you need to do is continue to offer and send the love to the people that are your biggest support system because they will continue to be your support system through all of this. October is going to be a really amazing month for you guys. It's going to be really productive. You're going to have a higher vibration if you choose to. And things are going to make sense if people are transparent. If they are not transparent, your first thought, if, you, if they confuse you or you don't know what they're trying to say to you, or it seems like they're sort of being a little mysterious, that they're not 100% transparent with you, this is not the month for you to deal with that. You need to look at those people and be like, listen, it's either this or this. Like, it's all about being black and white. It's all about being black and white right now. That's what you need. You got some big plans coming. All right, Pisces. Um, I love you guys. And come join me for the self-alignment course this weekend. Um, also, get in line to have your first six months of next year. If you pre-order the six months for 2020 for your personal reading, you'll also get December, and the video will be sent to you in November. So um, the, the pre-orders, there's only a limited amount of pre-orders because I'm already scheduling for November stuff. So um, self-alignment, meditation, Find out what your next six months are in 2020 and even seven months if you pre-order. I love you guys. Take really good care of yourselves. Bye.